Good morning and happy Monday. Thanks for uh, joining us here on KSNT News. And thanks for allowing us the pleasure of entertaining you. This is the message the Kansas Expo Center is sending to everyone this morning as they celebrate 30 years of business. KSNT News reporter Austin Barnes is live with us this morning with a look at how they're honoring decades. In the last 30 years, quite a bit has changed out here at the Kansas Expo Center. Now, it wasn't always this fancy modern building that you see behind me. It actually used to just be a pile of dirt, and it was home to the very first Kansas Fair back in 1871. Now, of course, everything has changed, as I mentioned there, but the grounds here have housed everything from festivals to conferences to concerts, you name it, they've had it come to life out here. Now, the Modern Day Expo Center, the idea for it, rather, all came to be in 1983 and the official opening day was April 17th, 1987. Now that all featured a Kenny Rogers concert. He was the first one to perform out here. So we all know that had to have been a pretty good time, but even more changes are on the way for the Kansas Expo Center. Renovations are getting ready to, to begin here sometime in the next uh, year or so. Uh, so I think that's going to be an exciting thing for people to, to be a part of. Now, little details were shared with us about what exactly those updates might include specifically, but they are sure to take the center into the next 30 years with a fresh feel. Now, KSNT News did learn that a marketing study will also be updated soon to better gauge how you're feeling about events and where your interests lie. A study was last conducted in 2010. Now, one of the things that uh, I've enjoyed doing is going back and looking at some of the history uh, of people who have actually performed out here. So people like George Strait, Carrie Underwood, uh, President George W. Bush, former First Lady Michelle Obama. Plenty of star studded faces have been here to Topeka and they've been here to the Expo Center. So there's no short supply of star power, that's for sure. But it's had a very rich history and of course they're celebrating that 30 years today. Reporting live from the Kansas Expo Center, Austin Barnes, KSNT News. A lot of big names for sure have been at the Expo Center. Thank you, Austin, for those details. And as mentioned previously, a major ticket giveaway is set for later on today. And winning this ticket giveaway could have you sitting in some pretty awesome seats for Boston when they roll into town later on this summer. The time.